All right, so today is May 29th. Uh, the original date to put the sprigs down was going to be this past Saturday, May 27th, but the sod farm wasn't ready. The fields are ready to be harvested, but the equipment and everything for the farmers, they're just not out on the fields just yet uh, harvesting the sod and all that kind of stuff. So I have a little bit extra time to work on a few things. One thing that I'm going to do on this property line is since Bermuda is very aggressive at spreading, I want to do my best to help prevent it from spreading in my neighbor's lawn. So I'm going to be putting a landscape bed along here. The yellow tape is going to be the rough area of where that landscape bed's going to be. And then the white, uh, the white flags are going to be where I'm going to bury today a uh, 12 inch deep root barrier it's a big it's a big roll of thick plastic that's uh, 12 inches wide and i'm just gonna bury that in the ground right here just to have an added uh, layer of protection to help me prevent the grass from spreading into my neighbor's lawn so should be relatively straightforward just basically cutting a trench where that those white flags are burying it and calling it a day. I don't think I'm gonna cut the edge of the landscape bed just yet because uh, when we go to sprig, I wanna be able, I'm gonna be dragging or pulling a lawn roller and a uh, spike aerator to help push the sprigs into the ground. And I wanna have a better area to be turning around in the yard. And I don't wanna have to worry about avoiding the landscape bed. So the edge, well, the landscape edging will probably be cut in once all the sprigs are down and then I'll more further define this landscape area right here. Overall, the sand and everything is done really well. I haven't had any bad washouts. Actually, the day that I finished putting the sand down, we've had some pretty heavy rains. In some areas, I had some washouts where I have downspouts in the yard, but it, it wasn't all that bad and I was able to fix the sand for the most part. The other thing I'm doing right now is just taking care of any weeds that are popping up. The biggest thing, which I knew, I already knew this was nut sedge. Um, I already knew where a lot of the areas of nut sedge were uh, from when I had tall fescue here, but um, it's definitely helped identify where I have a lot of other areas with nut sedge. So I've just been knocking that out with some glyphosate and calling it a day and, and just trying my best to stay on top of those. So other than that, the the, this area hasn't changed all that much since the, the sanding video. I'm a little bit behind getting these videos out, just been really busy um, with the kids and family and all that kind of stuff. So pretty straightforward video today, just gonna be digging a trench where those white flags are to bury that root area. So let's just get into this. Right, guys so I just wanted to come and wrap this video up because by the time I got done burying the root barrier the other day it was too dark to film and I just wanted to show you guys what this area looks like with the root barrier in it and just show you the rough the very very rough shape of what this uh, landscape bed is actually going to look like the root barrier itself is very easy to work with the only hard part was just digging the trench I did have two irrigation lines I had to work the root barrier around just kind of button up those sections a little bit more uh, one of the irrigation lines was actually running very shallow and I dug up that irrigation line to bury it a little bit deeper and while I was doing that I found a old repair job that was beginning to fail so I buttoned up that repair job so no more leaks but overall this is what this landscape bed is roughly going to look like and it's one of the last major or really the last major thing I wanted to get done before sprigging occurred which is June 3rd Saturday June 3rd this weekend I'm super stoked about that got some help coming to get those sprigs down that much faster the last thing I need to do in regards to the landscaping and a root barrier is I do need to put a root barrier between the sidewalk and street here I'm going to have a very small landscape bed here I don't really know what it's going to look like I'm thinking just kind of some rock or something like that since it's just kind of in, in an awkward space if you guys have any ideas throw them down in the comments but that's the last thing I need to get done between now and this coming Saturday is just get that root barrier in because I'd like to get all that finished prior to the sprigs getting down on the lawn. So thank you guys so much for watching this process and, and watching the videos and leaving comments and all that kind of stuff. This has been a really fun journey so far. 
and I'm just really looking forward to getting the new grass grown in. So thank you guys so much, and I'll see you in the next video.